that's one thing I miss though is that you know we all used to watch the same show and then talk about it and then the talk about day. it the next day and nobody's seen it no yeah. and you can't talk about anything because you know even if it's Game of Thrones yeah. they might not have been be up to where you're up to or whatever I know spoiler alert and I love Ga- Game of Thrones is the last show and it possibly will be the last ever show like that that everyone not everyone but a, a huge proportion of the world have seen and are up to date what's the countdown jace put game of thrones countdown in there please and bring it <laughs> bring it up on the screen for the rest of the podcast i think we're three weeks away we are, from right, is right. something like that game of thrones countdown please um yeah well my <laughs> I've, well, I've, I've got down. i've got um you see they literally have a countdown going i'm sure there it is 17 days two hours 18 minutes my, seconds. my wife absolutely loves game of thrones and i i'm 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 very annoying to her in many ways but uh one of the ways is that you know yeah it's all right <laughs> <laughs> i can take it or leave it so sometimes i'll miss half an episode sitting there and go oh so hang on who's that going in <laughs> i thought she was married to him hang on now my brother and sister now is this yeah. being is this being married to ben hurley or is this being married to a comedian is everyone gonna do I this <laughs> no, I, I don't even do it on purpose really i just I'm just inherently annoying. It's just part of my DNA. So are you someone who's actually looking forward to it and genuinely or don't really care? Um, I'll definitely watch them. Yeah. These, are like, these are all like feature length. I think so, yeah. Uh, like 90 minute episodes or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's mental. Yeah. I watched the la- like I say, so I started watching it. This is my trajectory of Game of Thrones. I started watching it. It was like season two, kind of a bit wordy. And I, I tapped out, right? <laughs> and then came back to it about three series ago when it started getting really good again. Right. And um, and, and that last series with the, uh, you know, the drag, dragons and everything, that was proper good. That the, the whatever her name is, Khaleesi, yeah. that season where they basically had her off trapped without the dragons flying i'm just like oh come on yeah come on this could have been you know that like this the last season should have been last year i think you just pushed it up a little bit with that <laughs> yeah. you know i did watch it <laughs> but come on let's just yeah. get to the real let's get to the finish very much so were so, you a dungeons and dragons guy i i wasn't a lot my daughter my 15 year old uh-huh. turned 15 yesterday is huge That's into what I've heard about this. It's coming I've heard back. That it's coming back. I was a little bit. It was there was a, a window there when I was about thirteen that I was into it. I never owned anything. I have a book. But I went to boarding school. Ah. And so often on a Saturday afternoon there'd be a game, yes. and I'd join in on that. Yes. Or we'd pl- gamble. That would be the other thing. That'd be the other table. Okay. <laughs> For I got a silver and gold coins. Um, there was another game involving a biscuit, wasn't there? I don't <laughs> never recall that. No, no, I never recall that. <laughs> um, <laughs> So yeah, so I've I very much went to a public school. Like, a I have, this, is, this is the only way I get to make fun of people who went to posh, posh schools. I didn't go to posh school. Oh well, Catholic school. Oh, Catholic school. Integrated. Oh no, yeah, where? Yeah. So, Sacred Heart College in in Auckland. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. yeah. yeah Brendan Lovegrove went there. Yes. Yeah. He was a lot, a lot. Quite a few people went there actually. Yeah. Yeah. Brendan Lovegrove was a few years ahead of me. Okay. I, yes. I, I, I don't. I never met him. Don't know him. But I, he may have been there when I was there. But three or four years ahead so what is it but then he went to dilworth as well is that don't know yeah okay jason hoyt as well anyway, don't know anyway yes so uh, and the thins and the dobbins and yes, the fitzpat right. sean fitzpatrick yes. and there's a bunch of people at one stage i remember when i was at school we had karen crowley at fullback yes uh sean <laughs> fitzpatrick okay and oh, there's another one <laughs> Karen because i grew up in taranaki so um the karen, crowley's all in there karen crowley was uh you know because when we when we first moved there and i was a little kid and um you know karen crowley was this local celebrity because he yeah. played like three midweek games for the all black <laughs> and bull allen was the other one bull allen i remember him yeah so he, he really damaged his neck or something had to give up rugby yeah and then joined destiny church correct or that's what i was just about to say he, he, he's now destiny church is he still there he's a, he was a proper um uh, you know like a philanderer when he was a rugby player it's a good word so he went he went the other way i do feel like the 1870s has just come back <laughs> with that word i love Some that word terrible philanderer, a philanderer. <laughs> I, I i mean you know a, a slut really let's just say what it is he was a slut 